Hi, today we're going to learn how to create an autocomplete form with the cities and states using the Google Places API. Here is the website I will be working on. As you can see, it does not have any autocomplete feature right now. Um, you don't see anything when you type in the input. So we're going to change that with just a few steps using the Google Places API. So the first thing we need to do is to go to console.developers.google.com. And once you're there, if you haven't made an account before, you will be prompted to make an account. So go ahead and do that. And we're going to go to the library. This is where we can install various Google APIs. We're going to be right here in the Google Maps API. And go to Google Maps JavaScript API. And if you don't have it already, it will say enable. So you can enable that. And the next one we need, we actually need two for this, is the Google Places API web service. So you can enable that. Of course, I already have these, so it says disable, but I'm sure you can figure that part out. <laughs> um, now that you have those, you're not quite done yet. You need to go to credentials and create a new API key. An API key tells Google who you are, and it allows you to set up restrictions if you choose to use it on only certain websites, for example. It takes a few minutes to create a key, so you can pause it here and let that go through. And once you're done, we're just going to copy the key. And I'm going to store it somewhere so that I can use it. OK, now we need to find the code that we're going to put on our website. A simple Google search, Google documentation, and I've done this before, so places API library should be enough. Um, it takes, it's actually a few down. I don't know why it's not number one, but right about here, you have developers.google.com slash maps slash documentation slash JavaScript slash places. So that's the one that we need. The getting started here is pretty much everything I described to you, such as creating your Google API, enabling it. And now we're on to part two, which is loading the library. Let's copy this. Now I'm going to open two pages. Um, you don't need to do that. You can open just the page that you're using, which will have the search bar. You want to put that at the bottom, right before the end of the body tag. So I have a partial right here um, called closing tags. So that would look like this something like this, if it didn't have the partial. Just in case you haven't worked with partials before. OK, so I've got that copied. And as you can see, it says your API key. So let's delete that and replace it with the API key. Okay. 
Now, I also have my search bar in a partial. Um, if yours is on the same page, then you don't need to do anything extra like I am doing here. Um, I just want you to look for your input and it has to be an input. It can't be some other kind such as a text area. You need an input and you also need an ID. My ID here is search term. You can go with autocomplete or something of that sort. And now we're going to write a little bit of code. Right above our Google API link. So we're going to create a function called activate places search. We're going to create two variables, one called input, and we're going to type document dot get element by ID search term, which is the ID that I just showed you. And we're going to create another one called autocomplete. And we're going to type new google.maps.places dot autocomplete and we're going to pass input through the autocomplete function. So we're actually pretty close to being done now. We just need to put this callback in the URL. So let's type places and callback equals Activate places search. And that's it. So I'm going to save this. Okay, it looks like I have a little activate. Actually, here's easier way. We'll just copy that. Okay. So now that I fixed that typo, let's try it again. And there it is. So I want to look in Toronto and I have it. Okay, so if you have any questions, you can leave them down below. I'm going to try to get my best to get back to everybody swiftly <laughs> and quickly. Um, and I hope you liked the video. So thank you, and I'll see you later. Bye.